Hello again, friends of Yala, and thank you. Thank you for working for a future of peace, even in such difficult times. It would be so easy today to give in to cynicism and despair. But when resignation prevails, change becomes simply impossible. If we lose hope, we, leave our, we lose our best strength. In the last months, I visited the Syrian refugee camps in Lebanon and Jordan, and I have seen so many young people and even children who have lost their homes, their jobs, their friends, but they haven't lost hope and even a smile. If they can do it, if they can still hope in a peaceful future, we have a duty to do just the same. Today, you set an ambitious goal for your hope, peace in the Middle East in 2020. You know, when I took office, I said we can aim for a two-state solution between Israel and Palestine by the end of my mandate, and that is by the end of 2019. I know, just like you, that we are setting the bar very, very high. But I am sure about something. We will definitely not make it if we don't try. And if we set targets, it's because we want to proceed towards that targets. Therefore, the peace progress uh, is always at the top of the European Union agenda. We are constantly working with Israeli and Palestinian leaders to find a way forward. But peace in the Holy Land concerns the whole region and the world. And this is the reason why we decided that the Middle East Quartet should work more closely with the key Arab countries and with the Arab League. In a way, it is the same idea which led you to Yala Young Leaders. All who have an interest in peace should engage for peace, together. In our Quartet meeting last February, we have decided to come up with a report on how to move beyond the deadlock with also recommendations towards the two states. We are currently working on that. The present situation is unsustainable, and see the weight is not an option for us. We cannot let desperation prevail among young Israelis and Palestinians, because despair can only lead to more violence. In times like this, keeping hope alive can be the best contribution to peace. Keep the horizon in order to continue walking towards it. So thank you, my friends. Our hope can be rock solid with a million young people working for peace as you are.